Well, here is what's happened. I did come back to the model table last night, but I, uh, well, I was going to say I didn't video ever anything, but I, I actually did, but it didn't work out the way I had planned. And what I'd wanted to do was to, you know, snap close-ups of this so that Casey would have sort of a, you might call it a poor man's paint marking guide. And uh, what I ended up doing was just taking my point and shoot here and, and snapping pictures. I set it on macro mode and it did pretty good, you're going to see, because at the end of this video, I'm going to put each one of the, I think about a dozen, uh, photos that I took. Uh, I'll put them on for about five seconds and then what Casey can do is he can just uh, pause, you know, and maybe use the uh, snipping tool or something like that on his computer if he wants to, you know, copy it. Either, either that or uh, if I could somehow email him the actual uh, f uh, uh, photo file, like the JPEG, uh, that would be the absolute best because then he could enhance it. For instance, I was noticing on one of the pictures that you can't tell where where this line stops. Does it stop at the anchor chain or does it stop at the slipway? There's two. There's two. Uh, well, maybe I'll just swing this around here, and uh, <clears throat> I'll bring the camera in. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, here's what I'm talking about. Uh, we zoom in nice and close like this, we can see where it's very hard to tell. I'm going to use the uh, holder downer here as a pointer because Mr. T's poking device is just too big. But it's hard to tell where does this line stop? Does it stop on the on the slipway that the anchor chain is on? Or does it stop at the anchor chain itself? And I'm going to just overexpose it here by a couple of stops. I know everything else is going to be sort of washed out, but then It'll it'll lighten up that dark area. Okay. Now it appears to me that the H three oh five stops on the slipway and the eighteen and twenty eight go right to the anchor chain. Okay? That's what I'm getting out of it. I think everything else so sort of made sense. Um, and if it doesn't, Casey, you can just uh, say, hey, I can't read uh, such and such, and I'll take another shot. Now, you know, I may as well tell you, I, I don't really feel like working on the model today. And I think it's probably because the next thing I have to do is get my paint booth up here on the model table and... Uh, uh, start spraying because we can't do too much until we get our parts painted. Um, anyway, where are we going? One of the viewers made the comment that uh, he has this drill and he said, uh, I'm not going to thunk his comment down, but uh, he said that he found that it was just right for drilling plastic. It didn't melt the plastic. And uh, I guess what I'm saying is I kind of want to see what this looks like. You know, it, it reminds me a lot of kits that I used to put together of cars back when I was... Oh, wow, this is my goodness, it'd be back in the late 50s. And they some of the cars would be like motorized. That's what it reminds me of. I remember I had a a kit of a go kart. It had a little motor, and <laughs> I used to have a go kart when I was a kid. Yeah, I think I probably terrorized the neighborhood with it. Uh, yeah. Alrighty. Hey, okay. yeah, that looks alright. I don't think we'll have too much trouble figuring this out. Comes with everything except batteries, I guess. And uh, if you remember, I was saying something to the effect of that I wanted to try and uh, 
rig it up so that you know it only well it shouldn't be too hard only one battery is powering it and then it'll go even slower yet on the other hand I may find uh, that that it turns slow enough uh, the the chuck is what I was sort of interested in you know how how precise is the chuck I from from what I got out of it from what I read you know online and so on it it did seem like uh, the, the chuck was probably fairly precise. Okay, well, oh, don't want to lose that. Okay. Wonder what that was was in. This thing got a hole in it somewhere. Or maybe this is an extra one slipped through in the factory because there's another one right there. Um, anyway, here's here's part of the part of the collet here. Will this go? Will this close down on a twelve thousandths of an inch bit? I don't know. It doesn't look like it will. I, I might have to use it the uh, the adapter as well as okay nothing else in there I don't think except the staple okay so I don't think I need to see the instructions to figure this out Okay, this would be for the for larger bits, and this one here is probably for smaller ones. At least that's what I'm that's what I'm getting out of it. Why else would they have uh, two collets? I'm trying to do this where you can see it. No, it's not going to do the real small bits. It doesn't look very precise either. Well, <clears throat> you know what? It is what it is. I'm not going to take it back. Uh, we'll put it together sometime. But not today. Okay, when I was packaging everything up, just now to so we don't lose the little parts, uh, I, I took and I ran this uh, collet, uh, you know, nice and tight and I could see that it did go a little bit smaller and it did seem to be a little bit more precise. I didn't want to leave people with the, with the wrong impression. Um, <clears throat> so maybe maybe what I'm going to do is, I'm just for the fun of it, I'm going to see what is the smallest bit that uh, this this will take. Like we we got the two collets. We got this one for small bits and this one here for larger small bits. <laughs> but I'm sure we should be able to figure out, you know, what is, what will be the smallest uh, drill bit that this thing will take. For instance, I'm pretty sure that this one here is is too small. Yeah. Okay. So it it won't take something that small, but probably just a little bit larger. So what I'll do is I'll. Uh, uh, figure it out and I'll let you know just in case there's somebody interested somebody might think hey I, I wouldn't mind getting one of those drills but uh, you know how small will it go okay I've got my smaller bits all in order of size here I think this one was 17 thousandths or thereabouts uh, my, my really small ones are in another container um, but I didn't bother putting them out because I, I knew that it wouldn't handle that and uh, what it turns out as the the smallest bit that this will handle looks like about 33.5 which in millimeters is where are we here get this in millimeters about uh, 0.86 millimeter uh, yeah just under a millimeter now um, uh, I, I think I, I made the comment about it, it didn't seem to be very precise. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this 
uh, chuck in in my electric drill, and we'll just we'll just turn it, and we'll uh, I'll put the macro lens on. We'll just watch and see if we got any sort of wobble that doesn't match the wobble that's already in this thing. If you know what I mean. Okay, now this is not the most precise chuck in the world, but it's not too bad. Okay, now I'll put the macro lens on and we'll just move right in on that and we'll see what happens here. Now, I, I can see wobble already, but it could be that this bit is a little bit bent, but I don't think so. Just hang on a minute, we'll get the macro lens on. I don't know now. Is that the uh, the uh, the bit is bent, or is it the is the, the, the chuck? Let's just see if we can reposition it just a little bit and tighten it back up again. See if it's any different. Oh, wrong way. I'm doing it. Uh, my excuse is that I'm sort of doing it backwards t <laughs> for the camera. Okay. Is that have I got that in there straight, or maybe I've got it? Maybe I got the jaws coming in on the uh, on the flutes, and that wouldn't be good. That'd be sort of about right there, I think. Let's see what'll happen right there. All right, what do we got? Yeah, that's some better actually. It might have been the it might have been the bit, or it could be that the jaws are not holding the bit straight. Um, but the uh, if you notice where where the bit is coming out of the jaw, it does seem to be fairly true. I mean, for I mean, what do you expect? The whole thing was like what thirty bucks Canadian money. That's okay. I'm happy with that. I I do wish it would have taken a a smaller uh a smaller one because because now what I gotta do is uh you know use this adapter. This adapter will take that the little tiny bit that was what, twelve thousandths or something? I forget now. Good memory but short. Oh I just got a delivery. Now, I was just going to say, it's not model related, but in a way it is. And uh, what it's supposed to be is a uh, hard drive for backing up my video files. I have uh, all my video files, almost all of them. Careful now, don't break that. Uh, yeah, it's just a, an expansion. Oh, that's what the Seagate calls it, expansion. But you know, different manufacturers call it different things. But all it does is, it just holds uh, uh, your, your files, your video files, or, or any kind of file. This is a, a four terabyte. Um, this actually is the tenth one of these. My first one, I think, is about half a terabyte or something <laughs> and I remember when I got it I thought oh boy that's, that'll I'll never fill that up and now I'm already on my tenth one I've got several that are four you know like two three four I got one that's five and I buy them when they're on sale so yeah Okay, plug that into my computer and now I can back up more video files. Model ship video files. Yeah. Now what all do we have to paint here? You know, I'm realizing now it's not nearly as bad as I thought. Funnels are done. This is all done. 
these two pieces are done. Um, yeah, the only thing we've got is uh, this stuff. And, uh, well, this, this is going to be hard, of course. Um, I, I think that what, what I'll be doing is I'll be, uh, I'll be spraying it. I think it's the number 22 I'm going to use m on most of it. So it'll match everything else. And uh, then the details I'll do with a brush later. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do about the cable here to make it look like a cable. Um, I don't know if I'll do a black or, or what. I'll have to decide. And maybe there, maybe you got some suggestions. What what color should we, should I paint this? Because this is the you know the cable that I'm, I'm pretty sure it would have been a cable, not a rope. Anyway, uh, we'll worry about that when we get to it. Uh, main concern is that I don't break any of these pieces off that are so incredibly fragile. Uh, yeah, like like this thing here. I've actually brushed this with my arm a couple of times, and I haven't broken it off. Anyway, uh, um, at the uh, end of this video, which is right about right now, I'm going to be putting up those uh, snapshots that I took of the uh, paint scheme. So, uh, yeah, for anybody that wants to see that, well, please enjoy. It's not going to last very long. I'm going to have each one up for about five seconds. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow, hopefully in the paint booth.